What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be discussing The Flash's timeline. Now I'm assuming after this video a lot of you guys are either going to understand it a lot better or just be more confused because this is really hard to explain. So yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to give you guys, you know, my take on The Flash's timeline and what exactly I think is going on here. So guys, obviously, uh, the night of Nora Allen's murder has had a lot of changes made to it in The Flash Season 9, Episode 10, compared to when we first saw it happen in Season 1. Uh, so I'm going to try and explain why it's different than what it was. Um, so first, we have to go over the differences, what exactly is different. The first one is that Barry and Thawne go back to the year 2000, hours before Thawne kills Nora, instead of coming out of a portal right before he kills her like they did in Season 1. Um, in Season 9, they're, they're, they're so much longer uh, before the events of her murder so that was uh, one big difference right there uh, another difference is that the changes to I guess the events that led up uh, to the flash and reverse flash going back to that night the first one uh, in the original timeline was the crisis 2024 newspaper article where Barry and Thawne fought on a street with red skies and whatnot um, and then exploded or they disappeared in an explosion of light um, and then went back in time and all those events played out versus this time in season 9 Barry disappearing and going back to that that night literally just because of the blue crystal and we're just going to assume reverse flash just time travel there by himself um just to kill barry as a child and was there for like hours before uh, uh nora was murdered so that's another big difference right there and then the, another difference is that there we had season nine barry of course this time um opposed to the original timeline flash back in season one and for people saying that there is no original timeline flash and there is just one flash that's that's just wrong because first of all they're not even from the same year. Season 9 Barry is from 2023. Original Timeline Flash is from 2024. Um, the circumstances that led to both of these speedsters going back in time to that night are totally different. So there has to be two different timelines. Um, so I, I'm just... My opinion is that... The original timeline created a new timeline, which is this timeline, which will eventually create another new timeline. Um, and then, you know, that's just going to keep going on and on and on. So in the original timeline, like I said, there were so many different circumstances that led to original timeline flash and original timeline reverse flash coming back to the year 2000 opposed to what we see in season nine, episode 10. Uh, but originally when we see original timeline flash uh, go back to this night and Barry's mother was murdered, that created another timeline where our Barry, season nine Barry, goes back in time instead. And that's why all these things are slightly different compared to the original story of what happened. At least, you know, that's what I think in regard to why there are these slight differences when comparing the two times we've seen the events of Nora Allen's murder. Um, so basically what I'm trying to say is our timeline was created by a change made to the original timeline, if that makes sense for you guys. Uh, but then the, here's another question. Why don't we see Flashpoint Barry or Flashpoint Thawne in Season 9 when Barry goes back to that night? It could be because they just wanted to cut it out, but it still happened, which is definitely possible. Or maybe because of Crisis creating a new timeline, maybe in this timeline, Barry never saves his mother and never creates Flashpoint. But then there's the question, what about Savitar? The only reason he exists is because Barry created Flashpoint. Savitar could have also, like, I guess, appeared in some other way. Or they could say, again, Crisis changing the timeline made it so Flashpoint wasn't needed uh, for all the Savitar stuff to happen. I guess that's definitely possible, but, you know, that still needs to be answered right there. Now guys, one part that's a bit hard to explain is the Reverse Flash situation. It would only make sense that Reverse Flash during this night is always going to be original time on Reverse Flash, otherwise he would already know that Barry's just going to save his younger self because his mother's death is a fixed point, um, and then Reverse Flash would get stuck in the year 2000. So this must mean that there will always be a connection to the original timeline, meaning no matter what timeline it is, original timeline Reverse Flash will always kill Barry's mother, because it wouldn't make any sense if like the Tom Cavanaugh-thon killed Barry's mother because, you know, he's already done that, right? He's already lived that. Um, so that may be a bit hard to understand, but that's the best explanation we're going to get. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to have to, we have to assume that the, the reverse flash that will be present at the time of Nora Allen's murder will always be original timeline reverse flash. Um, but the version of Barry is going to fluctuate as, you know, it keeps happening over and over and over again. Um, so yeah, all in all, 
first we had original timeline flash come back facing the original timeline reverse flash but then original timeline reverse flash got stuck in the year 2000 created the flash our flash from season 9 who then comes back to the year 2000 for a full circle moment and faces original timeline reverse flash who once again gets stuck and has to create another version of the flash who will also go back to that night and face another original timeline reverse flash and the cycle just keeps going and going um, each time the cycle being slightly or I guess the event of Nora Allen's murder being slightly different because each time it happens the timeline also slightly changes um, so yeah that may be a, a lot for you guys to process but that's you know my take on the flash's timeline at least if you guys have any questions or theories of your own uh, about the flash's timeline make sure to comment them down below um, because this could be you know I'm not I'm not saying I'm right about the the flash's timeline that this is actually how it is I'm saying that you know this is what I'm theorizing this is what I think is happening um, so yeah like I said make sure you guys comment all your own theories and uh, you know what el whatever else down below I'm really interested to see what you guys have to say about this but anyways I'd say that's about it guys thanks for watching make sure to comment your thoughts on this video down below as well as your thoughts on the flash's timeline what do you guys think is going on do you think uh, do you think I'm right about what's happening do you think there's something I missed just comment all that stuff down below and I'll see you guys in the next video